Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got something special for you today. A lot of you have been asking how to create custom transitions like the ones in Quizblitz, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss more tutorials like this. And if you're excited to learn, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps the channel. All right, let's jump right in. First, let's open Canva and create a new design. We're going to choose the video format with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Next, head over to Elements and search for Freeform Square. In the Graphics section, you can pick any shape that fits your style. I'm choosing this one, but feel free to experiment. Now adjust the shape as per your preference and change the color to make it pop. I'm going for something bold. All right, now that we have our base, let's add some flair to the design. Go back to Elements and search for Lightning. Pick any lightning element that appeals to you and place it right in the center of your design. Once the lightning element is in place, select it and go to Edit Image. This is where we add some depth by applying a shadow effect. Use Page Lift to create the shadow. And change the color to a vibrant pink red. Adjust the blur amount, distance, and intensity until it looks just right for your design. Perfect. Now download this design as a PNG image because we're going to use it in the next step. Okay, now let's move to the animation part. Create a new design, again, with a 1920 by 1080 video template. Import the PNG image you just downloaded and adjust its height and width to fill the canvas. Next, increase the page duration to give us more room for animation and duplicate the page so we can add more movement later. Now for the fun part. On one of the pages, select the image and go to position. Change the X position to 1600. This will move the image all the way to the right. Here's a pro tip. We'll be adding a border to the image to help align it perfectly while animating. So select the image, go to Edit Image and add a border. This will make the next step much easier. Now, select the image and click on Animate. Choose the Custom Animation option. Hold the Shift key and drag the image to the left side of the canvas. The border will help you align it perfectly in the center. Choose a smooth movement style and adjust the speed to your liking. I prefer a moderate speed here, but feel free to tweak it.
Once that's set, go ahead and remove the border. We don't need it anymore. For the next page, we're going to create a faster movement to the left. Select the image, choose another custom animation, and move the image all the way to the extreme left. Again, set the movement style to smooth, but this time make the speed a little faster than the first animation. Reduce the page timing to just one second. And that's it. Your custom transition, just like Quizblitz, is now ready. Just download your video and use it in your quiz or educational content to make it stand out even more. Now that your custom transition is ready, it's time to add it to your quiz video. Open your quiz video project where you want to use the transition. Next, upload the transition video we just created. and place it between the relevant pages or scenes. Once the video is added, click on the transition between the pages. Select the Dissolve Transition effect for a smooth, seamless look. To perfect the effect, you can adjust the playback time of the transition. This will help you control the speed and overall impact, so play around with the timing until it fits just right. If you're looking to save time, you can speed up the original transition video before adding it to your quiz. Simply adjust the playback speed of the transition and then insert it into your video timeline. This way, you can achieve the same effect in less time. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and are excited to use your custom transitions in your own videos. If you enjoyed this content or learned something new, please consider giving the video a like. Don't forget to share it with others who might find it useful and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.